I would have to think that was the highlight of your career here, being the tournament MVP. What was that like, uh, getting the two wins at the Blue Cross Arena? Those two wins were huge for us. And, you know, Millsy came back with that goal on against Air Force just to give us the chance, you know, and uh, that's huge. He always seems to come up clutch in those situations. And, um, you know, I had some great lineman mates that uh, fed me the puck when I was in the right spot. And, just happened to put it in. His winning goal was a, uh, was a great goal, um, a timely goal obviously uh, when it's in overtime to move us to the championship game and then uh, I forget a couple goals and I don't know if, how many assists uh, uh, his last game uh, really propelled us past uh, Robert Morris and I really uh, He's coming in as a very uh, confident uh, uh, leader this year in himself. And uh, we've got him with some different wingers that uh, he's going to have to grow to. And we're very cognitive of, of uh, when I say keeping him happy, making sure that he's got the right people around him because of what we feel that he's able to, uh, to accomplish this year. What was it from first year to second year? Because you played did take off when the Tigers needed some scoring, you were there to provide it. I think it was just confidence coming in that second year, you know, knowing the league and the just uh, the level of play. And then also just uh, just getting the opportunity to step into that position from the coaching staff uh, and just really focus and step up my game. I think playing with Josh Mitchell certainly helped him. And, I think even putting him in situations like penalty kill where I don't think he was uh, expecting that, probably wanting that, but wasn't expecting it. And, uh, you know, we were trying to find a spot on the power play and uh, the power play was clicking last year. So you don't want to tinker too much uh, with it. But I think you know, a lot of different things, uh, increased ice time and just uh, uh, confidence uh, in his game. Tell me about the decision you named Miles Powell as one of your captains. Well, that's a decision made uh, by a lot of people. Our players vote on captains. Uh, the coaching staff also gets one vote, uh, and even our equipment person, uh, uh, Jeff Siegel, uh, also gets a vote. I think it's the people that know the locker room the best that get a vote. Uh, some teams are just players. Some teams coaches pick. I think it's ours is a combination of everything. Uh, but those three guys really stood out uh, in the voting uh, amongst the pack and uh, were named captains. Good shot in the goal! A lot of uh, great men before you have worn that C. So what does it mean to you to be uh, captain of the Tigers? Uh, it's just an honor to be uh, named captain. You know, any team, when you get that, you know, it means a lot. Um, it's just a, a privilege to be able to show leadership throughout the team. Hey! Give it to him, one key. How much did you learn about leadership last year when things were going wrong? Uh, you learn a lot when you're down, you know, you gotta keep fighting and uh, I don't necessarily think uh, you're, I was forced into the position, you know, I tried to rise to that and uh, I feel like everyone stepped up when they needed to when we were down in that situation.